Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Spectator in the Zone postgame show. Ellie Schultz here with Miles Simmons and Spencer Gurry. Guys, a big win today for Columbia. Um, 34-17 to over Cornell. Um, great across the board for a lot of guys on both sides of the ball for Columbia. Uh, Marcoris Garrett, perhaps more than anybody, had a great game today. Spencer, your thoughts on that? Yeah, another fantastic performance from probably the Lions' most consistent offensive player. He had 187 yards, including an 86-yard uh, score, which is the longest of the season in his career. Um, he That score in the early in the second half really swung the momentum to the Lions. They scored 24 unanswered, and uh, that was that was basically the key to the game right there. Um, and Coach Mangurian uh, praised Marcoris for how his work ethic and his attitude throughout this season. And, and Coach would really like to see other players step up just like he has, and, and it's really showing on the field. Um, yeah, also uh, worth, uh, worth noting is the fact that Marcoris Garrett's uh, performance today gave him his fourth 100-yard rushing performance of the season, um, which is the first time a Columbia player has done that since 2001. So uh, props to Marcoris. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, uh, there. So uh, another guy who stepped up big for the Lions offensively was Chris Connors, freshman wide receiver. He's also had a fantastic year. Uh, Miles, your thoughts on, on Connors' performance today? Yeah, uh, Chris has done a great job in the last few weeks, I and mean, ever since Penn, I mean, he's been stepping up for a lot. He had another good day, six catches, 84 yards, two touchdowns, uh, one of which came on the first drive of the game, the second of which came in the fourth quarter. It came off a check from Sean Brackett, Cornell, when he's starting to stack the box. Uh, Sean Brackett like touches helmets, you know, if you right. say, oh, Chris, you better go deep on this play. Chris went deep, made a fantastic, outstanding yeah. diving catch mm -hmm. in the end zone to get the touchdown, and that put the Lions up 34-17. And uh, earlier in the game, actually, Chris uh, Connors made a similarly uh, a similar catch, a little preview, I guess, of what we're going to see in the fourth mm -hmm. quarter. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Fingertip catch, uh, diving down the sideline to catch a ball that was thrown behind him. So, a uh, great game for Connors. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, Josh Martin stepped up big for the Lions. Yeah, he probably had the game of his life. Um, yeah, three sacks. Um, could have been uh, something like five or a couple mm -hmm. times where he got really close to taking down uh, the Cornell signal callers. Um, and uh, perhaps his biggest sack uh, came uh, uh, against J Jeff Matthews in the mm -hmm. third quarter. Um, uh, he came in on second down, hit Matthews, just clobbered oh, Matthews. Really and uh, Matthews fumbled the ball, and uh, Columbia, got, Columbia got possession and wasted no time at all. And uh, Brackett found um, Hamilton mm -hmm. Garner yeah, in the end zone um, to put... Uh, to give Columbia another touchdown. Um, so pretty much across the board, a, a very solid performance for Columbia. Um, yeah. Good good to see that uh, going into the last game of the season. Absolutely. I mean, the defense really, they came after Matthews all day. Yeah. I mean, they hit him so hard, they hit him and hit him and hit him. And then eventually, out of the game. Yeah, yeah, they did knock him out of the game. Uh, the junior, sophomore junior quarterback junior, back up yeah. came in. And no, so, sorry. Yeah. Continue. Well, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> their backup quarterback came in and had to take over for him. Mm -hmm. So good job by the Columbia Lions defense today. So um, hopefully we'll see more of that uh, next weekend against Brown. Um, the last game of the season for the Lions. Um, it'll be a big one. So um, we'll see you in Providence next weekend.